Hi, I'm Brain Freeze 9876 and welcome to part 4 of Roadkill because yeah, I'm recording. I tend to do that this a lot, record multiple parts in one session because I don't know when I'm going to get session. I'm not I don't think I'll be able to record a session every day. All right. Got to turn this this off cuz it gets it really into my ears. So what radio station should I put put up today. Alright. Uh, oh. What I promised him. We were going to do races, right? Yes, I'm senile. <laughs> Ooh, a sentinel. Kill it! Yeah, the police cars are sentinels. Ooh, a, a car that doesn't have any guns. Shoot it! Also, it's a pretty, de it's a quick source of money. Uh, not a great one, but... But yeah, what radio station to listen to tonight? Um, oh, 66. God, you guys oh no, are yes, this romantic. one. I'm gonna do it. So off you go, lovebird. Run to him. This has got to be the best job ever. I think the best job <laughs> ever is about to happen to that neighbor guy. God, I'm in Bastion. Hey, callers, feel free to call in. Oh, man. Questions and comments in case you didn't up. notice the name of the station, 104.9 D-Love. We're having a lot of fun in the studio today. Please give a warm welcome to your friend and mine, Blake Sassy. Hello! <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Blake what? Yeah, I think it's that's his name, Blake. Really? You're such a radio diva. Oh, thank you, honey. Oh, don't thank me. Thank the man upstairs for making you such a... Alright, map. Uh, really, he's all the way over there. Or the start line's all the way. Thanks, Blake, and as always, you're a total hunk today, too. I just love that outfit. What, this? Do you oh, like yeah. this? I just picked it up. Let me just say, it takes a totally different type of man to wear a leather turtleneck. Yes, it does. I am hands down the hottest man on radio. I think the listeners can see that. So, I heard you went out last night. Yes, I did. Me and Bastion went out to Lava Falls and had ourselves a little picnic. Aww. We just talked and me. had a few glasses of wine. Sounds nice. I think I'm falling for him all over again. You think? It's like he's known me forever. Anyway, I'm sorry. We should take some calls. Oh, Poor man, I don't just waiting patiently. And here I am gabbing about Bastion in the my situation. Okay. Hello, caller. You're on the air. You have a question? Yes, I do, guys. I was wondering. I have pretty hardcore PMS, and pills and stuff just don't seem to work. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering, is there a cure, or am I just screwed? Well, honey, just relax and take a deep breath. Oh, yeah. All right. I just feel so out of control. That's normal, honey, but I want you to know that you are in a safe place among friends. Well, when my PMS gets really bad, I just get in my car and find a guy, and then I run him over until I feel better. <laughs> Sometimes I have to run him over like 60 or 70 times to get my anger out. But as we all know, PMS is brought on by simple-minded men. I've heard rumors. Isn't that the truth, Kimberly? My husband just doesn't listen to me. I tried to warn him. Oh, honey, what's he do to you? Well, I'll be sitting on the couch, and he'll come in and ask me, what's for dinner? Well, this always sends me into a rage. I just want to stab him with the remote. I would never do this, of course, because I wouldn't know where to hide the body. Oh, so true. I need help, guys. Don't let him get the best of you. Listen. Kimberly, do your magic. There's this place behind Earth, Wind, and Tires that no one ever goes to. You could easily hide the body there. Let the healing begin. W what if I get caught? Oh, you won't. I never did. Mm -hmm. Look, I'll tell you what. How about we say you and I went to a movie together, and when we came home, your husband was missing. And you guys looked all night for him. <laughs> hey, th that asshole's pulling into the driveway right now. Well, hey, hey, don't hang up. Our listeners can learn from this. Classes in fashion. Hey, honey. God damn, this place is a mess. Make me some dinner, bitch. Yes, sir. Wait. What the... Are you gaining weight? Get him now! Go, go, go! All right, go! Chop it off! Chop it off! Go, girl! No, stop! I'm sorry! Oh, no! It's too late for that asshole! More friends! Okay, Kimberly, I'm gonna have to call you back. It's on. You see, honey, don't you feel better now? I feel amazing! This is better than a hot bath! Thank you guys so much! I'm sorry! Your work is no, done here, Kimberly. No, okay, don't, don't forget, so bury him deep. You have a good day, sweetheart. Ah, memories.
I remember the first time I whacked an asshole boyfriend. I am so glad to be gay right now. Da -da 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 -da. I'm gay. Feels good, huh? All right. With the bean, it you see its affiliation is with a daredevil, so any gauchos will attack me on sight. But it's got a lot of speed, so and I need speed for to get the neck the items part ugh, the parts right now that, pl that I'm planning on spending the rest of this episode doing um, for the for ten minutes anyways. If I ever make you mad, you'll tell me that. Absolutely. Blake, honey, you're my best friend. I would never hurt you. Plus, all that stuff is in my past. I'm reformed now. And you look great. Why, thank you, Blake. Um, you want to take another call? Well, okay, Kimberly Wayne Casey. It's your show. Okay, caller, you're on the air. Well, can, like, drugs and alcohol... Next call. But, yeah. Yeah, you just witnessed, or not witnessed, but listened to somebody getting murdered on the radio. Yay! Also, I gotta get to the garage to get air, some air brakes and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I went way too fast and overshot it, but, so... Air brakes will are a really good way to control your speed and get you to land it precisely where you want to. <laughs> but yeah, I plan on having you listen to the talk, having the viewers listening to the talk radio only a little bit at a time because if you listen to it too fast, it gets old really quickly. Oh crap. That one, that, am I doing the whole Goldilocks thing? First I use too much and then too little. Alright, hopefully this next one's just right. But in order to have, I need more nitrous. You're in a Ooh, I forgot there were multiple races, so... I wonder if I should do this. Um, now nah, I'm gonna focus on getting parts. Yes, this is annoying. But... It's necessary. Oh, man. Yeah, just right. STV Blueprint. Yay, I wonder what, what that means. <laughs> Or what STV stands for, anyways. Ooh, one. Time to do this next race. I was thinking about going over and collecting the weapons and all. And I'm making hand gestures, so why? But yeah, this game runs so much smoother now. From I was having a lot of problems with it. Uh, you gauchos. But I got a car built for this. Very specifically for speed, so... Ah. Uh. Oh, I forgot these get harder. <laughs> yes, I'm using a lot of I items unnecessarily. <laughs> yeah, that's a nitrous power up. 
again, I would get those things I got a race to win. Ooh, the Senor. You know what these these vehicles will probably be most useful to me after I've I'm out of Lava Falls. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Alright, now what parts do I gotta get that are that I need to go really fast in? Ooh, there's the third one. Yeah, that was, that was getting old. <laughs> Well, guys, I know you gotta go down and get to the gig tonight. Yeah, we gotta get going so we can do sound checks. Blister Canyon, Dominate Lava Falls, looking cooker. and Paradise City, man. Don't forget tonight, the Fuzz Brothers live at Paradise City Arena. What time do we go on? Eight o'clock. Yeah, baby. Yeah, there are okay, three. Well, we'll see you guys there tonight. Let's play one more song off the album. This one goes out to all the metalheads in Blister Canyon. Yeah, there's yeah. Lava Falls, yeah. Blister Canyon, and Paradise Rock City. And roll, motherfucker. These are. Point six W I L D. Ooh, driven by oil people. They heard the screaming of the wheel, the day of judgment. No one saved the old man had before. They heard the roaring of the guns against the mountains. The strong will run to roll the stone before the door of Vista Canyon. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if this was made specifically for this game. Uh, do not get that. Whoa. Yeah, I'm. I really need to get my commentating voice back up. This seems to be an easy, an easier race than last time, actually. Whoa. But yeah, these are all car well most of the cars you see you can unlock. Yeah, these races, these checkpoints are not clear at all. No, some of them. Alright, good. The mullet. That might be a non-affiliated vehicle I could use, actually. Ooh, already coming up on 15 minutes, so... Alright, should I end it here? Yeah, I'll check out what the mullet is. Canyon, do you want a party? I can't hear you! You know the road can be such a long, long... Okay, I see that... Such a trend that Kahanes and the mullet. 
old and sometimes you need uh, a friend. Anyways. And that friend can come in many different ways. Actually, yeah, there were only three races, so I did them all. So I don't have to worry about that again. So yeah, only so yeah. All right, this is Brain Freeze nine eight seven six, and I hope to see you next time. But I probably won't because this game is way too obscure.